Couch, dog, me, palaisant. Hey there Lickin' Riffers, welcome to another awesome guitar video right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video you're in for a real treat, we're gonna learn one of the best and most fun guitar rhythms ever created, the walking bass country rhythm. Yes, I am holding a pick in my hand and I'm gonna show you how it's done, but first let me assure you that this is a lot less complicated than it looks. It's one simple rhythm pattern with one extra trick added to it. So once we learn that trick, we're ready to go. So first it goes a little something like this, I'm gonna try and cram in as many examples as I possibly can. for this are four chords um, just for the purposes of the exercise you can do it with a minor E minor G F barred chords whatnot but let's start with the basic uh, version of this so I'm playing C F C and G okay we're gonna loop C F C G C F C G C F C G that's the chord progression now why this F and not this F not the barred F because the G, the C, and the beginner F chord all have the same alignment of notes. It's the same voicing, basically, and that enables us to use the same walking bass patterns between all the chords, between F and C, between C and G, between G and C, and between C and F. You'll see. Um, it's gonna be exactly the same patterns, exactly the same finger patterns, exactly the same frets. So that would prevent confusion and will make everything a lot easier. But first we have to learn the rhythm pattern itself. So the rhythm pattern is this. Bass, down, up. Bass note, down, up. Okay? And the down strum and the up strum, uh, you want to play strings 1, 2, and 3 to separate the bass notes from the high notes. Okay, so it's bass, down, up. And you play it four times. Bass, down, up. That's it. That's the whole pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's it. You play it throughout the improv. So, first play it with all four chords. F. C again. G. C. The next step would be to add an alternating bass note. And so, your one would be the bass note for the chord, and the two would be the next bass string. So, for C, it would be strings for uh, yeah, 4 and 5, but you'll start with 5, so let's say 5 and 4. So, C. 1, 2. Okay, for 2, you'll play the D string. So, 5th string, 4th string, 5, 4. Okay, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, do the same thing for F and G as well. On F you'll play str uh, strings 4 and 3. And for G you'll play strings 6 and 5. Okay, that takes a little bit of practice, so let's practice it together. Next 
step would be to make it country. How do you do that? Every second and fourth beats, when you are on the second bass note, the alternating bass note, you'll hammer it on. And this is where the chord voicing comes into play because you can hammer it on. And you'll hammer on the second finger from zero to two on the respective string. So it'll sound like this. Got it? Bass, and then the second bass note with the hammer on. And then, got it? And this is the point where it starts to sound right. Okay, now you can let go of the third finger when you hammer it on because you don't really need it and then you can put it back on when you do need it like this look at my fingers let both go and then put it back on so the basic walking bass pattern is this you have all of your bass notes on the third fret so you just lead into them by doing zero two three on the same string for example C you do 0, 2 on the A string, and then you start the rhythm pattern. And then C. Okay, now the walking bass replaces the fourth beat. So, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 0, 2. Same thing goes for F. One, um, one, two, three. Zero, two on the D string. And then back to C, so zero, two on the A string. And then down to G, so it's zero, two on the E string. And so on and so forth. That's only going up, so we need to go down as well. And we do that by reversing the walking bass pattern. We're doing 2-0. But we're doing the 2-0 um, down from the previous chord's bass note. So if we're going from F to C, then our F bass note is 3 on the D string. So our 2-0 would be on the D string because we're doing uh, F down to C. So it's 3 and then 2-0 on the D string and then C. And then when we want to go down from C to G, we do the same thing, 2-0 on the A string. Because bass note wise, it's B, A, G. We're going down the notes. So we have zero, two into the bass note. Okay, coming from behind the bass note. From the lower note to the high note. And then when we go back down from F to C, we do F, E, D. I mean E, D, C, but it's F, F, E, D, C, C, A, B, A, G, and then again A, B, C, D, E, F, E, D, C, B, A, G. Okay? Now, um, this is our basic walking pattern. Now, you can add the previous chord's bass note to the walking pattern and create this. Now, um, as you
you can hear, I don't really care if I'm picking one bass string or two because two bass strings give me the double stop country sound. Okay, so don't be afraid of hitting two bass strings. Okay, you can do it on purpose, so it doesn't have to be. It can also be. Okay, and that gives you the country sound. So um, that's another tip. Now, uh, if we add an extra bass note, we need to um, replace something in the rhythm pattern. Now for this, we replaced the fourth beat. So for this, if we add one extra bass note, we need to uh, replace something else in the rhythm pattern. So we replace the down up strum after the three. So we count it like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? Now, for example, from C to F, it would be C, D, E, F. C, D, E, F. And from F to C, it would be exactly the opposite. F, E, D, C. Okay, so one, two, three, C, D, E, F, F, E, D, C. Same thing for G. Okay, now, now you have the walking bass pattern. And everything builds up on that. That's everything there is to it. If you want a long walking bass pattern, you replace everything after the three. And if you want a short walking bass pattern, you just replace the four. And if you want a very, very long pattern, replace behind the three. So you just um, play it from the middle of the bar or from the end of it. That's the whole secret to adding the walking bass part. So practice this for a while before you continue the lesson. <laughs> both patterns. Now, uh, now the real fun starts. The real fun comes from changing the bass pattern or just using parts of it. Now, uh, what do I mean by that? Changing the bass pattern means that instead of 2-0 you can play 2-1-0 or instead of 0-2 you can play 0-1-2. Uh, or instead of 2-0, you can play 1-0. So let's see how that sounds. Instead of 2-0, 1-0. Okay, now this um, works just um, going down. When you do it up, it sounds off. So just do it when you go down. 1-0. Okay, this creates kind of a bluesy feel to it. Now um, you can add a chromatic feel to it. Two one zero. Now this is easy to calculate because you start from three, so it's three two one zero all the way. Three two one zero. Three two one zero. Then three zero one two when you go up. Okay, now if this confuses you, just count it. One, two, three. Okay, zero one two, and then again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now backwards. Two, three. One, two, three. This is one variation. Another variation would be to use the alternating bass note hammer-on as a transition. Uh, what do I mean? Just play it twice. That's the simplest way to go about it. You can also reverse it and pull it off.
Okay, got it? It's all in the same place of the bar after the three. One, two, three. Two, three. I'm just pulling off the second bass note of the chord. either pull it off or hammer it on now here's the real fun part okay up till now we had fun but this is where it starts to get crazy now you can play 2-0 on any string pull it off hammer it on pick it and lead to any chord you want because it's the scale so why not mix and match you can do this okay you can do any two zero to lead to any chord you can also do zero two on any string any uh, of the um, any of the E A D or G strings <laughs> sequence as an extra walking bass line um, and if this confuses you just start with something small just try a, a distant bass note okay if you're on G try the bass note uh, the, the alternating bass note I mean of the F chord 2-0 on the third string and then make the transition into C and then try to play the D and G strings. And then you'll start to get the hang of what I did at the beginning of the video. And then I tried extra uh, embellishments, kind of like pulling off three, two, and zero. Okay, that also works. Um, not that. see as long as you're confident with your rhythm every pattern you'll use would work just make sure you don't go too far because you still want to keep that country rhythm so that tum ta ta tum ta ta tum ta ta tum ta ta tum rhythm should remain uh, so that's the that's the feeling that you want to give your bass patterns just play something that fits the rhythm so just practice this and if you haven't subscribe to my channel before you go practice this subscribe to my channel because I already have tons of lessons here for you to learn and I upload a new one every couple of days or so and a new full finger style arrangement every couple of weeks so the tab for this lesson is in the description click the link go to the website get the tab the tab is for free of course everything on Lick and Riff is for free and will always remain free and if you want to give something back to Lick and Riff there's a large blue donation button right above the tabs you can't miss it and everything goes right back into making these lessons especially for you to enjoy and learn guitar my goal is to teach so if you want to help out go ahead and I'll be more than grateful for any donation whatsoever and everything will go right back into your education so thanks for watching go have fun and um, I'll stop talking now and let you go practice so have fun thanks for watching bye for now <laughs>